Hi everyone. So welcome back again. So in this video, we are going to talk about full outer join in SQL. So we have talked about inner join, left join, and now we are going to see the full outer join. So basically, full outer join is union of two sets okay so let's say you have element one two three and four in set a and in set b you have elements three four five seven so using full outer join or using union that is a union b you will get all the elements from set a and all the elements from set b so what is in the uh, set a one two three and four and what's in the set b three and four already presented in set a so this will not repeat after that five and seven so total seven elements are present in full outer join or union of two sets okay so let's say we have two tables one is employee and another is department table and from these two table we want the department name for each employee okay so if we do a full outer join based on these two columns because these two columns are common in both the table so if we do join and want to get the department name for each employee that means their employee id and their department name so from the first table we will get employee id 1 and his or her department name is a for employee id 2 the department id is 2 so department name will be n again for department id 1 the department name will be m now for the employee id 4 the department id is 5 okay so for employee id 4 the department id is 5 but there is no uh, there is no department with department id 5 in the second table so here we will get null Similarly, for the department name O and P, we have no records in the left table. So, for the department name O and P, here null will come. Okay. So, whatever is the matching records, for that we will get the department name. But here 5 is not matching uh, from the right table. So, we will get in the right table part we will get null similarly from the right table we have uh, department id 3 and 4 but there is no department id with name 3 and 4 or id 3 and 4 in the left table so in the left table part we are getting null so we will now see these examples practically so now let's see the full outer join part practically so as i have said that the full outer join is union of left and right join so we will do that exactly because in my sequel there is no keyword with uh, full join in some other language there is keyword exist uh, with uh, full join you can do directly but in the my sequel you have to do you uh, you have to do full outer join using left and right joins okay so we will first copy the left join part okay so we will do left join union and again paste this and instead of left we will do the right okay so here we are doing Select employee ID, employee name, department name from employee 
left joint department table and in the second part we are doing the right joint part on uh, exactly on similar tables so in the employee table we have employee with id 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and their department id is 1 2 3 and 5 and in the department table we have departments with id 1 2 3 and 4 so for the department id 5 we will get null and here for department id 4 in the left table we will get null so if we execute this query first we have to select this and run this query so you can see that for employee id 7 so for employee id 7 is department id is 5 but department id 5 is not present in the department table so here we are getting null and for department name management so for the department name management the department id is 4 but department id 4 is not present in the left table so here we are getting null for the department name management so hope you have understood all types of join clearly now i have discussed inner join left join and in this part you you can see that how to do right join and also how to do full join using union keyword okay so hope you have understood this video clearly uh, i have discussed all the kinds of join and the join part is now over so from the next video we will also cover the in interview questions in sql thanks for watching bye bye